Welcome to online learning. Online learning is different. In this case, learners take a course without meeting a teacher in a classroom setting. And they can study at home or anywhere they want with a computer and an internet connection. Using e-learning tools, educators create online courses with ease. Now, it's easy to see that screencasting plays an important role in all these teaching methods, and it is an ideal choice to describe step-to-step -step process and explain complex concepts. As you may know, screencasting is the act of recording a video which captures everything on the screen at a given time. So the video you get is a screencast, and it can contain objects like text, images, audios, and even mouse movement. Now, screencast or screencasting allows you to take a digital video of what you are doing on your computer screen while you narrate your video while recording. So, screencasting not only saves your time answering the same questions over and over, but it has been proven that 80% of viewers can recall the video they have seen in the past 30 days. So screencast can be called a screen capture video or screen recording and is a great way to teach or share ideas. Now, you may be wondering why you would want to capture a screenshot or record a video of your screen. The short answer is that it can help you communicate with more clarity and impact that you can with written words alone. Now, here's a list of advantages of screencasting for students. We all know that there are four main types of learners. Visual, auditory, read, write, and kinesthetic. Oral and text-based teaching approaches suit auditory, auditory, and read-write learners. But they aren't effective for visual and kinesthetic ones. So then teachers need to look for a solution to engage all learners. So this is where screencasting can help. Now, here's a list of advantages of screencasting for students. Screencast gives students a combined audio-visual learning environment. So they are useful to those who learn best through seeing rather than hearing or reading. Screencast help improve self-study. There are large numbers of free screencasts on YouTube, Khan Academy, Linda, and so on. Now, screencasts allow students to learn by examples. For instance, see a step-by-step -step procedure in detail or easily understand a technical term through a stimulation. So with screencasts, students become more proactive. They can learn at their own pace, watch, pause, or replay videos whenever they want. And there's no need to get up early, get dressed, take a bus. You name it, comfort is a great benefit. The so screencast helps improve students' attention and retention compared to classroom and text-based learning. And screencast offers students 24-7 online access to knowledge. So learn anywhere and easy to review lessons before tests and exams. Now also, Students create their own screencast to prove what they understand or record a video to share their ideas with a teacher. Now, since the emergence of screencasting, there have been a variety of softwares for screencasts, and we would like to recommend you screencast o -Matic. It is an online program that captures your computer screen in a video format. And why do we recommend screencast o -Matic? Is that it is free web-based screen recorders for Windows and Mac users. And also, screencast o -Matic is a user-friendly and it's very easy to create your screencast. And also, screencast o -Matic captures any program or any website on the computer. Okay, screencast ideas for your classroom as a teacher. Mm -hmm. 
screencast idea for your classroom as a teacher. As a teacher, you can use screencasting to provide course orientations. Um, provides, uh, it also delivers instructional lectures, provides student feedback, and encourages student sharing. Okay, so in provide course orientation, a teacher can um, a teacher can create a short screencast to provide a visual orientation to his class or to provide a visual orientation on how the students can use the platform. So this can be uh, helpful for new online students and learners. So um, you may log in as a student and record a tour of the class or the platform that you are using, including how or demonstration how to submit their work how to check their grade where to find instructions for your assignments and also how can they communicate to you or how they can uh, write to comments or they can send their feedbacks to you now well we are some of us are using Khan academy google classroom have a Zoom session for video conferencing, you may create a short uh, short screencast to provide or to visualize how they can how they can join Zoom session, how to do their online quiz in Scology, that is providing course orientation. Second is that deliver instructional lectures. So a screencast provides um, some direct instructions in an online classroom. So like a mathematics teacher, you can demonstrate your work that you are working a problem while narrating and explanations of the steps. And also, screencast provides students feedback. Provide narrative comments. You can provide narrative comments while showing corrections on the computer screen. And it's a great way to have an asynchronous conference with students about their work. And also, screencast encourage students sharing. Now, um, an important online learning opportunity in many in many classes when students are engaged to share their work. So by using screencasts, students can do their presentation report or explain their work process. Now, a major benefit of screencasting is, is that viewers can watch um, the screencast at a time when it's best for them because learning doesn't always take place in academic setting. So again, using screencasting, it makes a video to help also um, teachers if you are going to, um, uh, to, to give feedbacks and to answer and to record procedures about your class. So Right now, I'm going to play a video. This YouTube video provides an example of a mathematics teacher use screencast automatic to reinforce the strategies taught in the classroom. But in this video, you will see only the screen while the teacher is doing their or showing how to solve the problem. Given that this one is equal to, we have the angle is equal to 138 degrees. And then the side, we have side y. So, mean how would you find the side? So, for example, this one is, we have angle y. So, the opposite of that one or across of that, this one, this side, we, this one will be our y. And then, for Z, this one will become our Z, so we have this one is Z. Okay, that is an example of a mathematics teacher who um, show or demonstrate how to solve a problem using a screencasting. Now, educators who are using screencasting believe that it adds an important dimension to the course, and they enjoy the more personalized approach screencasting 
can offer. Thank you for watching this video and start creating video tutorial with screencasting.